Welcome to Photoshop Compositing Essential Techniques. Hey guys, my name is Aaron Nace. I'm the founder of Flurn, and I want to welcome you to this pro tutorial on Photoshop compositing essential techniques. The focus of this tutorial is to get you familiar with all the different techniques and tools we use to composite different images together. Now, there are many different types of compositing. You have frame compositing, where all the elements are photographed in the same scene, and then you put them together later in Photoshop. You also have element compositing, which comprises of using multiple different photographs, taken at different times and locations, and then putting those together in Photoshop. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to do both types of compositing, starting off with the more simple frame compositing and then moving into more advanced element compositing. In chapter two, we're gonna talk about the essential techniques used for compositing. You'll learn how to perspective match and light match and color match, and even how to use things like blend modes, clipping masks, and check layers. The purpose here is to get you familiar with all the different tools and techniques used to composite, so the next time you go to create a composite image, you're going to be familiar with everything you need to know all the way from the beginning. In chapter 3, we're going to cover frame compositing. We'll show you the photo shoot, everything you need to know in Lightroom, and the workflow in Photoshop. The concept for the frame composite involves a little bit of levitation. Our subject is going to be holding two candles, and we're going to have a lot of candles floating around our subject. The candles are going to be lighting the subject as well. So we've got a lot of great elements we're going to be putting together into one final photo. In chapter four, you're going to learn element compositing. Now this involves bringing multiple different images together that were not taken on the same day or same location. In this case, we photographed our subject in the studio and we're going to be bringing in stock images to create the background. You'll learn all the photography that went into the photo shoot. We'll talk about the lighting and the camera settings so you can take a portrait inside of a studio or in any environment and then place that subject into any other background. We're gonna go through Lightroom and through Photoshop where we're gonna show you the entire array of essential techniques. You'll learn how to mask your subject out of the background. We'll show you how to do color matching and luminosity matching. You'll learn how to use clipping masks and different blending modes and even how to use check layers to make sure that your luminosity and your colors are working perfectly in your composite. All these tools are here to help you create a more realistic composite easier. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to be familiar with both frame compositing and element compositing. And the next time you want to create your own spectacular composite photo, all you have to do is remember these essential techniques and you're going to be good to go. All right, guys, we got a great tutorial for you. Let's go ahead and jump in. 